might as well put my hat on if I'm going back to the classic vlogging. How you doing YouTube? Blade 376 here, Miles Dyer. And today, what am I gonna be talking about? Now, a lot of emails I've had over the past year have been about people who have wanted to start vlogging. In my second series of vlogs, I did a video of how to start vlogging, and I did one uh, about half a year later, which did make it on, got put up at the top of like promotion videos or something uh, a while back, not there anymore. But people are getting involved with vlogging. So many people have come up to me now and said, Miles, you're the reason I've started vlogging and that. So I understand um, that I am obviously doing good and I am obviously doing something right. And vlogging is such a great thing. And I think it's important to get more people out there because it's life changing. But there's a lot of people out there who just don't have the confidence to stand up in front of a camera and talk like this. Now what's important to say is I've been doing this for a year now. Uh, and if you look at my very first videos, I was very, uh, my syntax in the way I spoke was very broken up and I ummed and ahed a lot more than I do now. Now I've got clarity and it comes with practice like anything. So I guess the first point I want to say is you have all the time in, in the world to do it. Um, it's not as if that as soon as you start recording the video, it's got to be perfect first time. I edit a lot of stuff out. I mean, so far in this video, I'm doing pretty good. It seems pretty free flowing. But other times I may stop and go uh, and then give another attempt at saying just the one sentence. Because it's about clarity. It's, it's about getting your points across very quickly and, you know, in an entertaining way. So I had an idea, and this is what I'm doing for this video. I just want to give a few explanations of why your confidence should be up and then something to help you if you really still struggle. So in terms of confidence, um, I have changed a lot in two years. Um, two years ago, I went to France, as many of you know, to work at a ski resort over Christmas. First time I was ever away from home, and I was away for five months up a mountain where you'd go out the hotel, look left 10 minutes down the road, look right 10 minutes down the road. Five months I was up there for. I didn't ski much because it wasn't that much of an interest to me, which is a bit stupid because I'm working at a ski resort. But I went there for isolation uh, to get away from a world where I felt people didn't appreciate me, a lot of people took advantage of me, and I, I, I wasn't a loser, but I wasn't exactly um, the most looked up upon guy, although I was pretty much the same as I am now. And I had insecurities. I cracked when I was uh, on working in the ski hotel. Um, there was so much bitching going on, people were at each other's throats and we all lived on the same floor. Anyway, that point aside, now I'm a lot more confident and I'm doing stuff on the internet on YouTube which f for me to look back on, I look at some of my old videos and go, what was I thinking? I mean even think of Peter File, I'm almost 21 and wearing a rubber mask. Sorry for those of you who thought Peter File was real. Uh, and people get a good reaction out of it. And if people know you're having a good time, that's all that should matter. Um, the, I think with vlogging, the, the hardest part of it isn't for people who've never met me before, but people who've known me already and then see me on video. Uh, they go, Miles, I never knew that about you. Because when you're out and about, there's a, a certain, certain sorts of conversations that would come up. If you're at a bar, you wouldn't talk necessarily about this, but you could do. Um, and so people have like learned a lot about me who know me already. Some people thought I'd take myself too seriously. Well, it's not. I just have a serious side as well as an immature side. Um, but of course I'm subjected to hate, I'm subjected to criticisms, but you deal with it. And I think the big important issue with YouTube is you can't change people, but what you can change is your attitude. And if people give you hate, just don't ignore it, you can acknowledge it, but just remember at the end of the day that you can't get on with everyone in life. And that was my biggest insecurity in life. And over the past year I've got confidence through that. So if you've got very little confidence, you don't like the sound of your own voice, uh, or the the, the way you look on camera. Just do it, put it up there, and when you find people are there who appreciate your stuff or give feedback, reply to their comment and add a bit of discussion, and then you'll find maybe there's two or three people, or even just one person who cares. And if there's one person who cares, surely that should mean a lot, because that's one person you've spoken out to, and you've already stepped forward from what you're doing already, being worried about going on camera and exposing yourself. In terms of how honest you should be, some people think I'm one of the most honest guys on YouTube, just from what people have said, and I'm just bringing that up, because I don't always sound arrogant, but I'm bringing it up because it's coming from my perspective. If I am one of the most honest guys, what is my advice on that? And it is, be open, but as much as you're comfortable with. I always like throw myself in the deep end. When I went to America, I stayed with people who watch my videos. 
I, two years ago, I could never do that. And I look back now and go, you know, how the hell have I done that? And it's just, I don't know. And it's my attitude at the time I did it. And uh, I guess that's why. Um, YouTube's a great way for getting help if you're ever in doubt about things. There are people out there who would care, who care. Because at the end of the day, the people you deal with and you meet are people who live near you. There's not much choice of people. Um, but when you go out there on the internet, you're exposed to so many more people. So the chances are you'll meet someone who is better for you, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's the basic discussion. Um, and another example of confidence, and this is a very good model, I think, of my point. Um, about three years ago, I had counselling. I was depressed. I thought I was failing life. Um, Relationship-wise, you know, as people, a lot of people know, I don't, I've never had a girlfriend. Stuff like this was getting to me, and I was really down. And advice I'd given to many people over the years who were suicidal was how it shouldn't be done. You know, you've got to find other ways because if you did commit suicide, it'd be the most selfish thing on the planet because you only leave one thing behind. And that's the question in people's minds of what else could I have done? What relevance has it got to do with confidence? Well. For me to say that to people, I actually got to a level of depression where I was so depressed, I was on the edge of my life. I won't go into details, but I was sitting in a kitchen on the floor, weeping, uh, frustrated, walking in circles. I had no idea where to turn. I felt like that I was at a dead end and there was nowhere to go. And I phoned up one of my friends at school and uh, I was crying to him on the phone. I was just completely out of it and you know, didn't know what to do. Anyway, it was sorted. I came into school the next day and I looked at him in the eyes. Now what I'm going to say now is what the model is and that is him and I had an understanding of my mentality that night before that I, someone who a lot of people in the school wouldn't have thought me as, was in tears on the floor with a knife in his hand um, the night before. Not many people would think that but it was just between me and him. Now if you look across the room in the school, you think now everyone has a secret, everyone has an insecurity, but they don't tell it. Everyone puts on a front. And therefore, who knows that one of the people who acts, you know, like they're so hard and tough could have been in a worse situation than me. You just don't know because out in public, people put on a front. And I think that's why YouTube's good because I don't know why people have attitude like that. People are always there to impress and it's something I've never really done. I've just been myself and I'd rather people respect me for who I am. And that's why YouTube's good because even if you have the tendency to want to impress, just take a step back, make vlogging, get your ideas out there and find people who respect you for you, who you are because when you do find those people, you'll have more respect for yourself and then you can go out into the real world, you can make conversations and never feel the temptation to have to like prove to people that you're someone you're not and uh, for that I'm a lot more respected by people these days and it's just it's mental and it's just crazy and that's why I'm thankful about YouTube so I've given a bit of honesty there I hope this helps you with how to you know with confidence because everyone has confidence inside them it's about nurturing it and you know getting it better there are people who've done video responses to me in the past where they been hateful where they've made fun of me um, in harsh ways maybe but I just look at it and go that's them look at the point right with them making fun of me if you look at it at the end of the day what has that actually done if I'm to dwell over that and feel bad about it and feel I should back away that's just my doing not theirs because at the end of the day they've just done that and I could just go whatever and forget it and if you forget it, you just move on and that's confidence, even though you don't feel it at the time. And you'll look back and go, you know what, I've become more confident and that's exactly what's happened to me in two years. Um, I can't explain it and I feel good about it. And that is why YouTube has helped me so much, uh, as well as many other things. So for those of you who are watching now, anyone, and I'm talking about anyone, if you don't have a camera, go out and get one. This is a video response to uh, a video I did about how to start vlogging. Check it out. You'll see a lot of hater comments on there, actually, which are quite interesting. Um, but anyway, check it out, find out you know good cameras to get, I explain it all in there, get vlogging. But if you've got a confidence issue, I'm going to give you a template now of a video to do in response to this, and this will help you out, okay? So I'm going to give you some questions, and all you need to do is a video and answer these questions. I'm going to think of them off the top of my head now. And if you're able to do this, you've made a step forward because you've had the confidence to put yourself out on the internet. 
You don't have to edit it, you don't have to say it all in one go. Take your time. If it takes hours, it takes hours and you'll get better at it. So here we go. Uh, let's, I'll, I'll think of five questions. So my first question is, um, who are you and where are you from? Simple question. My second question is, um, why are you on YouTube? I mean, before you started videoing or what do you get out of it? My third question is, what do you hope to get out of it? What, what interests you about YouTube? Um, so I guess that could link to the second question. My fourth question is, what do you have a passion for? What really makes you feel energetic in life? And, um, you know, what, what do you really love to do? Um, so yeah, uh, so hobbies and passions. And my fifth question is, who do you want to meet on this internet? It could be anyone. You could just say, I'm up for meeting anyone. But specifics, what are you trying to get out of this? Um, and I know some of these questions overlap, but it's a starting point. And yeah, that's enough of me rambling. Um, it's something I really want to do for a while um, because I know there are a lot of people out there who haven't got the confidence I do. And I know you can one day because trust me, I wasn't the most confident person um, among other people. I had a lot of insecurities and a site like this has helped me out a lot. And uh, if you can see where I've got to now, where I've been able to go to the States all by myself. Not saying that's what it takes, but that's an example. Um, if I can do it, anyone can, trust me. Trust me very much. So uh, that's it from me, Miles Dyer, Blade 376. Adios, till next time.